Hi Aquarius and welcome to your reading. Let's see who and what is coming your way this week. This is for the week of May 14th through the 20th. Let's we'll see the energies coming at my Aquarius this week. What are they bringing? What's the energy for my Aquarius, please? Ooh, huh? Dragonfly spirit, shift your way of thinking and tackle the issue from a different angle. The bottom one's sticking out too, guys. Let's take it. Ooh, moth spirit. Appreciate where you are in your journey instead of wishing it was easier or different. Oh. Look at things from a different perspective, guys. C come at something from a different angle. So, me. <laughs> yeah. I got a feeling we're in the emperor energy this week of asking, what do I have control over when it comes to this situation? <laughs> and most of the time, the answer is I have control over how I either react to it or respond to it. Yes. Let's pinpoint the energy coming towards Aquarius. Please, the person coming towards my Aquarius. Bring their energy in for me, please. Thank you, Spirit. Mm, show me their energy. Pop. Change. They're coming in with change. I've changed. I've changed energy. Yes, death energy. Going through a transition of change. Mm -hmm. Their feelings and thoughts about you, they feel like they've ruined everything. Yes, they did. A ten of swords have ruined the cake. Yes, we ruined it. Ow, okay. Uh, how are they perceiving my Aquarius right now? How are they per right here? We're going to get two on this one. You, as a high priestess, you're very mysterious to him right now, yes. And you possibly, because to me, she looks like a tower of ice. <sighs> Bottom of the deck, we've got a Queen of Cups energy. Oh, it's, they, they, mm, with, with that Queen of Cups energy coming in, and they, it's hard for them to read your energy, but their perception of you is that you can be persuaded if they can trigger you on an emotional level. Yes, they can, if they can get a reaction from you. Like I said, I really feel like this is our week of to draw in the Emperor energy of what in this situation do I have control over? I have control over how I either react or respond. And sometimes with that emperor energy, your empress energy might whisper over, here's your response, which is don't respond at all. <laughs> Silence <laughs> and observe what happens. Yes, let's see their actions. Uh, what actions are taken towards you? <clears throat> hey, queen of a swords energy. Libra energy, I'm, I'm, yes, <laughs> I'm coming in with truth and honesty, that kind of thing. I've thought things through, but remember, there's they're seeing you as someone, that, they're trying to what, tr get your emotions through intellect, through logic, reasoning, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Ooh, what else? They know not to get uh, over emotionally with you, to come at you in a more sensible grounded intellectual way <clears throat> when they're really trying to unnerve you on an emotional level they're working hard at it too yes they are and they're going to try to convince you they've worked on their self they've changed um they're willing to work on things that, that kind of stuff any more action any more action let's pull this over here any more actions coming in on their actions Hoping for the future, Aquarius, for real. But, yeah, they're floating on a cloud with this one. And we got a devil energy. Mm-hmm. Ooh, they, and with that devil card, guys, they may, they may try to, um, through physical contact, you know, physical, sensual, sexual uh, persuasion. So, your feelings towards them. Ooh, wow. That was quick. You answered and responded quick. Yes, you did. I don't think it was a trigger. 
reaction. Yeah. A five of wands. You just listening to them. Uh, and like I said, for some reason, it evidently hit home that your empress uh, whispered in on you and like, don't respond. Just listen to them. Blap, 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 blap. You see the dragon is spitting little cherries at her and she's like, whatever. Okay, yeah, just observe. Uh, and if you feel confused, if they got you feeling a little bit confused about things, just don't react to it. Don't respond to it. Just observe. Yes. Because we definitely want to see how much they've grown. Mm -hmm. Curiosity to see how much they've grown. But we went from a five back into a four. <laughs> Guys, of oh, they they may actually trigger us on an emotional level a little bit of hoping that they've changed, but it's going to take observation to see that, and you're being told to stay in the here and now, prioritize the here and now. This card is about making sacrifices, something that you uh, sacrificed for, worked at, tried to perfect for a long time in the past, and you're. Yeah, card of abandonment of you need to reprioritize. The card is about what's really important to you in the here and now. Mm -hmm. Underneath that, do your introspection, Hermit Virgo. And then we've got a Ten of Cups. Reevaluate truly, true happiness in every area, not just a Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> mm, yeah, you want a Ten of Cups. You want the heart investment that goes with it. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Let's see what else is going to come out. Just know, guys, like I said, we're going to be a little bit tempted by this person. And they they, they are going to pull on heartstrings uh, on an emotional level. But, yeah, keep your, keep your distance for a minute. And because they're coming at us with I've changed, I've changed and trying to convince us. Uh, take it slow. Our talisman this week, guys, learn the truth, is to learn the truth. Yes. See what spirit is bringing out here. We've got a spiritual awakening. Your partner is sensing that there is something profoundly important about this connection. Mm -hmm. See if there was anything else. Because we're going to need to make sure of this, guys. And yet it takes a minute and time to see. We've got deeper intimacies. The feelings of emotional closeness. And love allow you to feel safe, desired, and more connected to your partner. Just be weary. <laughs> you want things to go a little bit slower because they they can flip their energies uh, or flip the, your energies on you of where you're being led by emotions and not your logic. And we need to keep the, keep our head about us a little bit this week and take things at a slower pace. Mm -hmm. See what else is going to be brought out. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Perfectly okay to get in those conversations. But just take it slow. Slow down any physicalness that uh, we might be feeling in the moment. Uh -huh, until we're sure. Because we might end up with regrets over it. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Don't try to convince yourself or... Yeah, make sure they're not trying to convince you uh, blindly when they're really trying to convince themselves they've changed. We've got healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Uh, this person may feel like family. We've got religious factors. Your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing or spiritual path. Spiritual path. Guys, spiritual path, the difference is uh, being out of sync with someone when it comes to where we're headed on a spiritual, but there's a, a spiritual awakening and this person seems to be trying to come in with, there's been a change. Just take your time so you'll know for sure everything will reveal itself, learning the truth. Let's go ahead and get a deck. I want to see what the person... Um, if we can tap their energy. Oh, okay. Hang on. I wasn't expecting this one. I got to separate it from the other one because it's only the front part of the deck. The hidden truth. Mm -hmm. The hidden truth. This is the first version of the hidden truth. 
Talk to us. Talk to us. Bring it out. Francis. Pop. I lost myself for a little while. I lost sight. I know that I crossed the line with you. I want to feel that way again. Think of the in this as this. I want to feel this with you again. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Hmm. Aquarius, guys, hoping you have a beautiful and blessed week. Sending you love and light. Bless me.